it's Deanna, registered dietitian. Today we'll be discussing about calories, weight management, balance, ways to track caloric intake, and then apply this to your own life. So after listening to today's video, you should be able to define the term calorie, describe the importance of calorie balance in managing weight, identify how many calories you need in a day. So a calorie measures the amount of energy in food or drink. The foods you eat and beverages you drink gives your body the energy it needs to keep you going. For example, your body uses energy to breathe, keep your heart beating, to grow, and to do physical activities like walking, jumping, and running. So I want you to reflect on all the amazing things the human body does and how it all requires energy. So share some ways your body uses energy amongst each other. So I'll give you guys about two minutes to talk about this. All right, so some examples that you could have came up with include um, breathing, walking, growing, smiling, fighting off illnesses, um, healing cuts or wounds, and um, broken bones. So now we're going to describe calorie balance. So calorie in are the calories from food and beverages you eat and drink. Calories out are the calories your body uses for normal body functions like breathing and growing and physical activity. In general, if you eat and drink the same amount of calories that your body uses, your weight stays the same. If you eat and drink fewer calories than your body uses, your weight will go down because your body must burn fat and muscles to get the energy it needs. If you eat and drink more calories than your body uses, your weight will go up because your body stores the extra energy as fat. So I want you to check out this diagram to kind of visually see how what calorie balance looks like. In addition to calories, your body needs the nutrients and foods in order to work properly. Each food group provides important nutrients that your body needs. For example, foods in the dairy group, such as milk and yogurt, provide calcium and vitamin D. So these are good and important for healthy bones. To ensure your body gets the nutrition it needs, choose foods from all five food groups. So like we talked about the first day, fruits, vegetables, grains, protein foods, and dairy. Most of your calories should come from healthy foods from these food groups rather than foods that are high in calories but low in nutrients, such as pop, cookies, and candy. Most of the calories in these foods come from added sugars and are saturated fats, so that's why we want to avoid them. Managing your weight can help you stay healthy and feel good. 
No matter what your weight is, eating a healthy diet and being physically active can help you be the best version of yourself. Healthy comes in many shapes and sizes. A healthy weight for you may be different than a healthy weight for someone else. Be proud of your body and how you look. You were born an original. Everyone has different calorie needs depending on their age, sex, height, weight, and how much physical activity they do. So I want you to look at your MyPlate worksheet that I provide you with today. Your age group generally needs about 1,800 to 2,000, 2,400 calories a day. But it really depends um, upon how much physical activity or sports that you're participating in. Now, if you're not really participating in anything and um, not really exercising, then you're going to be at the lower end. If you're doing a little bit of exercise, then I would say about the middle. And then if you're exercising a lot, participating in sports, then you're going to be at the higher end of that calorie range. Of course, I can give you a specific amount when I see you guys next, if you wish. So just um, remind me to do that for you. Also, I really like this handout because it shows you how many servings you should get from the food groups. So that's just kind of a good quick reference to look at and to kind of pay attention to because it gives you a good idea of what to aim for each day. Next, I'm going to kind of quiz you about what we just talked about to give you a good recap of everything that we're talking about today. So what does it mean to balance your calories? So I want you to answer that question amongst each other. So really, like, the answers for that could really vary. Um, you know, it's just basically about making sure that you're really watching your caloric intake with how much exercise if you're doing. If you're not exercising that much, then you're going to have to cut back. Otherwise, you'll gain weight. So that's the huge, that's the big thing. So, if the calories that you eat and drink are equal to the calories your body uses, what will happen to your weight? I want you to answer that. All right, it will stay the same. If the calories that you eat and drink are less than the calories your body uses, what will happen to your weight? So you will lose weight. If the calories you eat and drink are more than the calories your body uses, what will happen to your weight? So this one's pretty easy, right? Because we just did the first two. So it'll increase. How do you know if your calories in and calories out are out of balance? So how, how could you tell? So come up with a reason. So you could notice if you're, you know, really losing weight, you're not staying at your you know, your normal weight, or if you're gaining a lot of weight, then maybe you're going over that amount, right? Why do different people need a different amount of calories? All right, so calorie intake is based on physical activity, sex, age, height. So there's a lot of different factors. So everyone's individualized, even their weight is individualized. So that's why everyone needs a different amount of calories. Which physical activity do you think requires more energy? Walking 10 minutes or running 10 minutes? So I want you to answer that. All right, so running 10 minutes is gonna burn more calories than walking 10 minutes just because you're using more force and you're doing more body work and you're burning more calories. So the last thing that I'm leaving you with today is a handout that talks about how Maya is aiming to only consume 2,000 calories a day. She went over by 908 calories, so I want you to think of things that you could eliminate to get her at goal. And so we're going to discuss kind of what I would recommend to eliminate, but I want to see what you guys come up with and discuss and then compare it to what I'm going to tell you to kind of watch out for on that.
All right, so after looking at her caloric intake, um, some really good areas to focus in are some of the more nutrient poor choices. So maybe not having as much ranch dressing or maybe using, you know, lower fat content um, dairy products or she could have eliminated like the gummy bears. You could get rid of um, the brownies or maybe less portions that you could have done too. Um, other than that, I mean... You could definitely eliminate easily, you know, the 908 calories that you needed to. And some of the pop, too. Um, so those are just some ideas. It could be really individualized to what you wanted to do. Um, but she definitely did have some more nutrient-poor choices that you could have eliminated. So the last thing we're going to discuss is how to use MyFitnessPal, which will actually be covered on the next video. But this is going to really help you to hold you accountable and keep track of what you are consuming at home and just kind of help you realize what you're actually eating. So I think it's a really great app. Um, you can also use it on your computer, so I definitely highly recommend it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed learning more about calories and weight management today. And I hope you enjoy my last video about how to use MyFitnessPal. Thank you.